Congratulations on your purchase of the Plank 360. This video contains a demonstration of a series of simple but extremely effective exercises using the versatile Plank 360. Before engaging in any exercise program, please make sure to familiarize yourself with the Plank 360. Additionally, please make sure you're fit enough to take part in an exercise program. For best results, combine the following exercises with a healthy diet and a possible simple cardio program like walking, light jogging, biking, or cycling. The Plank 360 is simple to use. Find a doorway in an open area of your home or office with a solid door frame. Take the Plank 360 and put this part and place it in the door frame and close the door. Please make sure the Plank 360 is secure and stable in door before beginning any exercise. Give it a good tug. You can adjust the height on the Plank 360 to allow for variations of the same exercise. Now let's get started. The first building block exercise is the front plank. This exercise is a variation of the plank that most people do on the floor. With the Plank 360, you can do it with variable resistance while standing up. No need to get on the floor. This exercise primarily works the rectus abdominis muscles, the best exercise for those six-pack abs. One of the most amazing benefits of the Plank 360 is that by only using your own body weight in this standing static position, you're actually exercising your entire body. We recommend holding the plank for 30 seconds and working up from there on future workouts. The further you walk out or stretch the band, the more resistance you create. We also suggest you switch legs, step out first with the left, hold the plank, then step out with your right. These exercises may look simple, but done correctly, you'll discover they're not. Secondary muscle groups benefiting from this exercise, the shoulders, arms, and back, we encourage beginners to ease into the Plank 360 exercise program. Okay. This is a straight oblique, you're going to be working the front plank. Go ahead and put that right foot forward and just start pushing down and feel it right in your, in your stomach. You'll feel it work those muscles. There you go. Just come forward a little bit. Good. That's it. Now come forward and hold it there. Come forward and hold it. That's it. Keep those arms up like that. That's it. Good. Hold there. There you go. Perfect. You feel it working it right in the front? That's your right in your straight abdominal muscles. That's perfect. Now, once you're forward on the right leg, go ahead and go right, rotate to the side. Now go to the other side. The second exercise is the side plank. This exercise primarily works the oblique abdominal muscles, the best exercise to help tighten and trim down those dreaded love handles. Again, we recommend doing this exercise slowly, mastering the technique before pushing too hard. Hold the side plank for 30 seconds and work up from there. Once you've done working one side of your body, switch over to the other side to work the opposite obliques. Do these exercises slowly, deliberately, so that you can actually feel a slight burn in your abs. Like the front plank, you can create more resistance the further you stretch the band. Secondary muscle groups benefiting from the side plank exercise, the shoulders and arms and the back. Plank 360 fans also discover a side benefit is improving a person's balance. As you crunch, you feel it? Absolutely. Okay, just keep going down forward. You don't have to go very far. You can just even hold it static, just like that. Just hold it there, and you can come slowly, let it come back. As you work out, negative is even better than a positive. That's when all the workout, that's when your body gets the workout as the negative. Come back, come back up as the oh, negative. Yeah. There you go, as you come up. Great, great, great. Forward, you can even hold it there. Hold it, hold it. Come back. Great. Okay, let's try the other side. Other leg forward. Go ahead. Always make sure you're going sideways. There you go for the obliques. And then go all the way down. Hold it, hold it, hold it. Yeah, you can rock it a little bit while you're down there. And then come back up. And you can rock, go back and forth, side to side a little bit. There you go. Just slowly. That's it. Just rock it slowly around the obliques as you go to one side or the other. And then go ahead and forward again, rock it forward, hold it static, come back up, come back, hold it, that's it, go down forward. Make sure those arms are up because you have a tendency to let them come back. That's it, good.
The third exercise is the back plank. This exercise cannot be performed on the floor and is unique to the plank 360. This exercise strengthens and stretches the lower back. Again, do this exercise slowly, deliberately for best results. Hold a static pose for 30 seconds and take it from there. Again, you can create more resistance by walking out further from the door frame. By holding the back plank, you'll actually burn more calories than you can ever imagine. This is one of Dr. Sheet's favorite exercises. This is an excellent exercise for people who sit at their jobs all day long. The back plank can actually loosen up and manipulate all the locked up joints in the lower back, especially when you stretch from side to side while stretching your back. So come on back, you're just going to work the erector spinae muscles on that side. Come on back, good. Come on back, good. That's great. Now come back, hold it. Just a static, isometric pose right there. Very good, hold it. That's it, hold it right there. Good, good, good. Go, come forward again, come on back. Ooh, that's a good burn. Yeah, you can feel the burn. Yep, right there, feel it. Yes. Come on back. Very good. All right, that's good. That's a great workout. Yep, yep. Beauty about the plank 360 is that you can actually stand and plank. So that way, if you stand and plank, you can do it limited resistance and you can walk away further and strengthen your core at a hard enough resistance where you're actually doing it on the floor. After mastering the three exercises for the Plank 360, we encourage you to expand the use of this amazing device for additional challenging exercises. Here are some of our favorites. The standing row. Pulling back the plank 360 with both hands like you're rowing a boat will isolate the back, the arms, and shoulder muscle groups. To increase resistance, just stand further away from the door. See it working all, this mu all these muscles in here. It's a straight stand up row. Very good. How's it feel? Feels feels a great workout. We're working all these are the tricep muscles. Then you have the rhomboid major and minor that go between the scapula and the spine. He's got the tricep muscles he's working. All the, all the traps up and down here, the trapezius muscles is working. All this upper body workout. Oh, wow, what a burn. What a great workout. The tricep pushdown. This is a fantastic exercise to isolate your triceps. You can do a static pose with the arms extended or slowly push your arms down. Both exercises isolate the tricep. This is a great exercise for women who want to firm up their upper arms. It's just the motion right here. You pull down right there and you just hold it steady. It's a static hold. You'll feel it in your triceps. Feel it. Women always worry about the backs of the arms being loose and this keeps them tight. And all you have to do is go ahead and let your arms relax. You can just do motions if you want. Come on back down. A little routine. There you go. Back up. Come back down. Hold it right there and hold it still this time. Good, hold it right there. Good, feel it working right back here. Good. Now come back up, get a little break. Come back, come back. Nice, yep, nice. good. Rolling it going back. Yep, slow. Back down, get the negative, exactly. Go back up, nice and slow. Good, come on down. Hold it, hold it, hold it. Come back up. All right, come on down. There you go, good one. Uh, bicep pull down, it's working the backs of the arms, great exercise for women. Women are always complaining about the arms, back of their arms not being tight, so this is a great one. It's not to bulk, it's just to tighten the area. See the back of the muscles, the tricep pull down, you can see it, feel it pulling as you pull down your muscles, the, the arms, you can feel it pull on the triceps, You're just tightening all those muscles, not bulking up or just toning the tricep muscles. Do you feel that? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it feels really good. And you don't even have to pull down, you just hold it and it's a worked out the whole back to the arms. There you go, come back. The bicep curl. If you're looking to increase the size and strengthen the bicep, this is a terrific way to do just that. 
much like the row bring the band to your body, but this time use an underneath or curling motion. You can do this exercise in tandem or one arm at a time. That's it, yeah, hold it up, hold it static, there you go, all right, hold it, oh, good, good workout, look at that, very nice, come on up, hold it, very good. The standing press. For those who have spent hours on the bench at the gym, the alternate arm standing front press with the Plank 360 works most of the same muscle groups, the chest, back, arm, and shoulders, and is actually better for full range of motion. Okay, the standing press. Feel it work in the backs of your arms. It's for the triceps and for pectoral muscles, the front chest area. Feel it work it mm -hmm. in the backs of your arms. Fabulous exercise, great. You can do them unilaterally and you can do them at the same time. See if that's a little bit more difficult to do. But you can sure. do them fine. Very good. That's tough. The standing butterfly. The butterfly exercise is a great vehicle when you're looking to improve the pectorals or the chest. With the full range of motion the Plank 360 promotes, secondary resistance also works the shoulder and the back. The core oblique. There may be no better exercise in any gym for the oblique than this challenging movement. Simply kneel on one knee with your arm outstretched pulling the plank 360 while slowly turning your body. The standing ab crunch. With the Plank 360, there's no need to get on the floor for an effective crunch. Just bring the Plank 360 over your head, walk away from the door, stabilize your core, and crunch away. This is a standing crunch, and you're gonna begin, go ahead, crunch down. You're working the straight muscles right in here. You'll be able to feel it. Just go ahead and down forward and hold it. Static, isometric, hold it right there. Very good. You feel it? Mm -hmm. Yep, go forward. Yeah, you don't even have to go that far forward. That's great. Go forward again and hold it. Good. Okay, try one a little further down. Good. Try it further. There you go. Feel that, feel that right on that side. And then if you switch to the other leg, then you can feel it on this side of your straight obliques, your straight abdominals right here. There it is. Good. Feel it on that side now. Good. Right there, hold it. Let me hold it. Yep. Very good. Just by holding it, it's like an isometric exercise. Hold it. Very good. Okay.
yourself. The Plank 360 can provide an efficient, challenging, and creative workout anywhere in your home, office, or on the road.